Hello everyone, I am Scott Arbery. I'm the owner of Arbery Law. Arbery Law is a estate planning law firm, law firm located in Needham, Massachusetts, and I'm very excited to be here with you today. And today I'm going to talk about the difference between a regular will and a pour-over will. But before I get to that, if you have any questions about what I talk about today or any questions about estate planning in general, you can go to estateplanmeeting.com and schedule a time to talk with me for free, either in person or on the phone. Again, that's estateplanmeeting.com. You can go to that website. Uh, you'll see my schedule. Pick a time that works best for you. I'll be more than happy to, to answer any questions you have regarding estate planning. So today's topic is the difference between a uh, regular will and a pour of a will. So just to kind of go back a step, uh, a will is a document that you sign um, and what it does, it provides instructions to what happens when you die. So basically what happens is that it says where, where your, your property goes to, where your assets go to. Um, if you have minor children, it names the guardian for your minor children. And also what it does is it names a person to be your personal representative and their responsibility is to settle your estate, uh, distribute your assets as well as pay off any debts. So there are really two types of wills that, that come into play. The first is a regular will, which is just your standard uh, last will and testament. Again, what that does is that uh, determines where your property will go upon your death. It names your personal representative and it also um, appoints a guardian for, for any minor children that you have. The second type of will is a pour of a will. And the pour of a will is very similar to a uh, last, regular last will and testament. The only difference is, is that instead of dictating what happens to your assets going to specific people, um, what happens is that assets will then pour over into a trust that you have created. So basically what that, what a pour of a trust, uh, pour of a will will do is that it will make sure that any assets that are not in your trust, uh, upon your death, Will then will then come into your trust after your death. So basically, if there's something that you didn't uh, name in into your trust uh, upon your death, that asset will end up into the trust. So that's really the main difference between the, the two types. So you know, pour over will uh, still names guardian for minor children. It appoints your personal representative. Uh, certain personal tangible property you can pass on uh, to to people. You know, if you have like a watch or a set of golf clubs, you want to go to a particular person, you can still do that in a poor will as you can in a regular will. So the main difference is that any assets that are not titled in, in the name of the trust will then pour over into the trust upon your death. So that's really how, how all I have for you today. Uh, once again, uh, a lot a will and a poor will are very similar. The only difference is, is that any assets are not held in trust uh, we'll be then we put into your trust we're using a uh, pour of a will. Um, so if you do have a trust, you want to make sure that your your will is a pour of a will. So that make sure that any assets that aren't captured into your trust will then move over to then upon your death. So that's all I have for you today. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you know someone that can benefit from seeing my video, please share this with them. If you want to hear more from me about estate planning, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can leave a question or a comment in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to answer that for you. Once again, you can go to estateplanmeeting.com and schedule a time to talk with me for free, either in person or on the phone. Again, estateplanmeeting.com. Go there. You can see my schedule, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have regarding uh, estate planning, either in person or on the phone. Again, I am Scott Aubrey. I'm the owner of Aubrey Law, and I will talk to you soon.